You don't know what sucks? This sucks. Yay, flat tire. My first one ever. Yay. Supposedly my mom said there's a screw in it somewhere. I, I haven't seen it. I just got out here. Uh, but, yeah, we, we definitely got to get this fixed. In good news, I woke up at 8.30. So, I'm up really early. I went to bed at, like, 12.30. So, I got on, I'm, I'm not on a good schedule, of course, yet. But, I woke up early and I went to bed early. So, that's good. No mail in the PO, or in the, the box, by the way. But, so yeah, that, that kind of sucks that my tire's flat. Mom came in, she was like, are you going somewhere? You know your tire's flat. So, I was like, yes, this is going to be a good day. I woke up, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to get stuff done. Your tire's flat. Oh, okay. Dang, never mind. <laughs> so, my grandpa came by and filled it up with air. It w There it is, right there. There's the screw, the little devil. Where did it go? There it is. So I'm just going to take it to the car place and get them to patch it up real quick. It shouldn't be much. It should be about 10 bucks. So, uh, going to get that fixed. Woke up early this morning, thought I was going to get stuff done. Nope, forget about that. This is what my car looks like without a tire on it. <laughs> just patching it over here. Where's my tire? Hey, yeah. We're at the hospital. I don't want to be, but... I ain't. We don't like hospitals. Why God do I like them? Do you sell toothbrushes? I do. <laughs> you guys remember her? Aunt Rhonda? You have to be a long time viewer to remember Aunt Rhonda. I do sell toothbrushes. <laughs> If you don't if you want to see her do a funny video, go search on my our channel and search uh, I sale toothbrushes. It's spelled like S A Y L E. Straight toothbrushes. I'm sure and then it. no, it's not even spelled toothbrushes. I think it's spelled tooth with brushes with an F. Just yeah, it's it's funny. Go search it. Rhonda. <laughs> Look at this. Where we went to get visit the hospital. I put the sticker on Boo's bag. <laughs> And he's like, oh my god, guys, where's he at? <laughs> it's funny. Boo, can't get it off. <laughs> Hi. Aww. Boo's like, get this thing off me. Boo, come here, let me take it off you. <laughs> Aw, you can't get it off, buddy. Oh, dang, it actually isn't kind of bad. Oops, I'm sorry, Boo. I'm sorry. He pulled a few of your hairs out. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't think it was that sticky after I pulled it off my shirt. Say, I'm fine. I love it. Hi. Hi. Hey. Uh. What? Uh. Hello? Uh. <laughs> We're at the flea market. Uh, we thought we'd come here. Nothing else to do today. Uh, you know, we're seeing all the birds, the birdies. We're actually at the little pet thing they have here. Oh, here's that, like an African Grey, just like uh, Grey's uncle has. Remember that, guys? Huh? Looks just like him, don't it? It's Max. What's awkward, what's ironic, is my, both of my uncles have two that Yeah, her that other bird. uncle has that and bird. they're both named Max. <laughs> yeah. This bird's pretty, I think. Really pretty. Hello. This is the smartest bird here. Well, not right now, but it will be. Smartest bird. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Hello. Okay. So we're leaving the flea market now. It's getting too hot. Um, we found some airsoft guns, and we were considering buying them because that would be awesome. Air, you know the little airsoft guns that shoot the little pellets? And the ones we've seen didn't need, like, CO2 to shoot them, so, I don't know, it'd be pretty cool to... Be pretty cool to have around our house, and Gray wants to use them for some videos that she's not going to film. Uh, but I wanted to get some. They're like, they're actually a pretty reasonable price, but, and it'd be fun. But I wanted to buy like a few of them so we could all like shoot each other around the house. But then I was like, you know what? We can't because Boo will eat the little pellets. So that wouldn't be good. But it's, it's hot here. We're going to call Johnny and see if he wants to pick us up. If not, we're going to head home because Johnny's like right near here. We're going to head home and 
get out of the sun because it's too hot. So I don't know if you guys have heard the thing that this dude is saying. His name is Harold Camping. And he says the world is gonna, well not the world is gonna begin, it's gonna begin to end at 6 o'clock today. Uh, so what he says, he says the rapture, which is where Jesus comes back if you're Christian and saves you and then it's like <clears throat> really bad on earth for the next like, I don't know how long it is, five or six months. I don't know all the details or anything like that. Now, I am Christian, I do believe in all that stuff, but here's what the, like from what I know, like in the Bible it says that you, nobody knows when it's going to happen, only God. So, and he's saying he's Christian, which contradicts itself a little bit. I don't, I mean, I don't know. Uh, so, <clears throat> he's basically like, it just doesn't make sense to me how he can call himself Christian and all his followers are supposed to be Christians and he's saying that he knows when the world's going to end. It just doesn't make sense to me, really. <clears throat> so, it's about 1.13. Uh, actually, at first, I never heard that it was supposed to be at 6 o'clock today but then it seems it seems like after because like in australia it was i'm sorry to interrupt you Greg. yeah it, it's like almost the next day it's almost the 22nd by now so it was supposed to end on the 21st if you guys are watching this the world didn't end just by, just so you know because we're gonna upload this on monday uh, but i don't know what do you guys think about all that like obviously i guess you'll have, you'll be able to form an opinion on it uh, afterwards, but if you guys are Christian, if you're not Christian, don't say hateful stuff. Like, keep your beliefs to yourself. Like, you can, you can. I know it's gonna spark a big conversation, but, anyways, uh, I don't know. I just think it's kind of weird that he can say, "Oh yes, I know when it's gonna end." This is by my calculations. You, you can't, you can't figure out when the world's gonna end. So I don't know. It's weird. But anyways, oh yeah, the, here's the question I asked Gray. So uh, a little bit ago, it was like, uh, let's say five hours. You have five hours to live. You find out there's a comet coming towards Earth, or you just know the world, everybody knows the world's going to end in five in five hours. What do you do? Wherever you are at this moment in time, what do you do? Like, for Gray, she's far away from her family, so she was saying, I would go to my family. I was like, well, think about it. If the world's going to end and everybody knows the world's going to end, you're probably, you're probably not going to be able to get on a plane to go see your family. I would learn. I would hijack a plane. Yeah, but what if it wrecks? I would hijack a plane. If it wrecks, so be it. I'd be dead either way. Yeah. But if it wrecks, at least I know that I was making effort to go see my family instead of sitting here and doing nothing. I don't know what I would do. I wouldn't do anything bad, obviously, but I know I would do some stuff that I normally wouldn't do. Like, not, well, obviously, but I mean, like, I don't know, like breaking the law, I guess, but not like, but not like illegal, illegal stuff like speeding or something. I don't know. I'd oh, probably I'd do totally something. Totally speed. I'd be going like, mm, like I'm doing right now, speeding. I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys would do if this moment in time, right when I said that, you had five hours to live. Say you stop watching this video and you're like, oh my gosh, the world's gonna end. What do you do? Let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you guys uh, think. And yeah, and, and everybody else is everybody else knows the world's gonna end too, not just you. That's that's the circumstance. I'd like to know what you guys uh, would do. I don't I don't really know what I would do. I really don't. I guess I will tell you when that time comes, or I probably won't tell you because if if that's actually coming, then I'm definitely not gonna spend a few minutes of my time or a while of my time telling you guys what I would do. So, anyways, let me know, or not, because if the world ends, you're not gonna see this anyway. <laughs> it's confusing. So it's hot out today. We just got Boo out of the cage. Hey, Boo Boo. It's better jump over to the thingy. And Max out here with us, and we're in the pool. <laughs> Yay! Okay. It's warm outside today, so we figured, you know what? Let's get in the pool. Get off my back, Boo. I gotta get in the pool, even though it's freezing cold water, probably. But it is kind of hot today. How hot do you think it is? Probably like 78. Ow, this porch is hot. I need to get away. We'll probably video somewhere we're in the pool. Oh, we could go get my Kodak Play Sport. I might go get it in a little bit. I'm not going to right now. Or should I? I'm going to go back inside and get it right now. Kodak Play Sport so we can video in the water. Even I, I, I don't even get in. It's, I'm probably going to be too much of a wimp to get into the cold water. So I found the Kodak Play Sport. I put my uh, memory card in it, and it's got to charge for a little bit because the battery is really low. So once it charges a little bit, we'll bring it out here, uh, and it'll be pretty cool. You guys will get to see some under-the-water shots. Exciting, right? Okay, we are now recording. I have no idea how long this is going to last because uh, 
the battery on this thing did not charge much. Ready, Greg? Catch the camera. I'm gonna throw you guys in. You, yeah, wait, we're wait, wait, we're now using the Kodak Play Sport. Let me make sure it's still recording because there's a light flashing. All right, here we go. I'm gonna throw you guys in. Ready? You're about to go in the water. I'm just gonna drop you. All right. It's gonna suck if this camera messes up because it's pretty expensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's underwater though. I mean, it can go under three meters. Anyways, here we go. <gasps> Hey guys, you're in, what's up guys, you're in the water. And now you're above the water. We'll see how the audio sounds, I'm just doing some tests. Okay, we're doing tests. <laughs> hey Max, he's awesome. And thank you. With the camera in our hand, we're gonna... no, you're not gonna be naked in this pool, you homo. Ty's peeing right now. Just saying. So it's currently 6:20 on May 21st, and I'm still young. And I'm still young. Don't know what? Anyways, and the world has not ended. The rapture hasn't happened. It's still a sunny, be a sunny. It's still a sunny, beautiful day outside. And I'm kind of confused, Daddy. What do you think? Is like, could he be in trouble? The Harold Camping guy who raised millions of dollars for what's basically a cult. Well, is that illegal? Because he exploited people's stupidity. Was that illegal? Uh, no, and actually, like, I think it's really stupid. But he's a freaking mad genius. He's got like a hundred million dollars. <laughs> well, his um, his radio network's worth like a hundred eighty right million. Now, I'll start. Shut right up. Here. Yeah, they are. Anyways, that Maybe has nothing to do. Let me make an announcement. You start sending in donations. November 28th, 2011 is the end of the world. Tell your friends. Anyways, so I don't know. I just November 28th. It kind of seems like he's not allowed to do that. Like, I mean, I know he's allowed to, but like, if people that's ran cults in the past have they got in trouble? Like, can you go to jail for running a cult? I, guess, I don't know, I guess it depends what they're doing. I guess if people want to send him donations, it is donations. <laughs> Jim, six, uh, Jim's, Jim uh, 6636, I'm sure most of you guys know, just posted on Twitter. He wonders why all these people are floating around me. <laughs> Anyways, did you guys survive the apocalypse or whatever it is? There were so many people tweeting about it and making jokes about it. And I was like, well, what if it actually does happen? But uh, I, I know, I, like, come on now. I don't know. I'm rambling now, so I'm going to end this. Let me know what you guys think about it. Is it wrong what he did? I don't, there's no telling how many millions and millions of dollars he's raised while he's been promoting this. Plus, his radio network is like a, worth $118 million, I think I read. So, like, before the apocalypse is supposed to happen or rapture is supposed to happen, why didn't he just give all his money to charity or something to prove? Not to prove, but to be like, how, to show how much he really, uh, really believes in it, rather than keep taking in donations. I don't know. What do you guys think? We're at my grandpa's now, and <laughs> this puppy's ever, or not puppy, he's actually a full grown dog. What am I talking about? Did he run off? Is that your friend, Smokey? Smokey, is that your buddy? Where'd he go? Let's have some fun. I got a feeling. Hey, boy! <laughs> Give him, Smokey. Oh. Oh. Hey. Hey, buddy or girl, you're girly. That's why Smokey likes you. Oh, he's laying on his belly. He's like, please rub my belly. <laughs> Oh, hi! He's pretty. She's a she, girl. you're a pretty dog. Yeah, Max gonna hate me now. He's gonna smell a pretty girl. He's gonna be like, "Oh God, where were you?" <laughs> hey, <laughs> Smokey's talking to her. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely part love. 
<laughs> you just want your belly rubbed. Oh, Smokey. Give you his hand shit. Smokey, you're still an old grouch. <laughs> you already run out of here. <laughs> hey, sit. You yeah, that's it? Oh, yes, you do. <laughs> what? What's my so pretty. We just got some Hi. Chinese food. Japanese and Chinese. It's got a smiley face. Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's called China One, and they sell Japanese food there also. And it really smells like a fart in here because somebody's getting their hair done. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> She'll feel good. Leave her alone. I look like poopy. <laughs> this is getting a perm and it stinks really bad. I don't know if you guys have ever smelled a perm. I go to a, a hair salon if you want to smell it. it smells I'm like, sure a lot of our viewers have never smelled a perm. It smells like a fart. <laughs> All right, slow down. Gray, if you do need to fart, now is the time because I won't be able to smell it. <laughs> 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 never thought of money. Ty's iPhone help with the pirate gray. Working hard, doing blogs, man, every day. Being funny, huh? What can I say? They help with everybody, man. Videos on the way. Subscribe today. Hit like and plug.